Hey guys, MD here with Outdoor Reviews. Uh, I picked up myself uh, a new stainless steel uh, fry pan for my uh, bushcraft kit. Uh, what I got was the MSR Alpine fry pan. And what I'm going to do today is uh, I'm going to season it up to give it a non-stick quality. Because if any of you guys have used these uh, stainless steel pans before, uh, you, can, you can attest that these things, everything sticks to them and they can be a nightmare when you're cooking. So I'm just going to show you a quick process of how I season these before I use them and uh, make them a little bit more uh, user friendly when you're out in the woods. Now for this process what you want to do is you want to cook on a high heat. You want to heat your pan up pretty high and uh, this little uh, pocket socket stove here, the gas is going to have no problem heating this up. And uh, this process, what you want to do with it is you really want to take your time when you're doing this because if you rush this process, you're going to end up with kind of a, a blobby, gooey type of uh, seasoning on the inside of the pan. And if, let me move you into a better angle here. And if you end up with that type of uh, uh, finish on there, you, you're just going to have to go ahead and redo it, strip it off with some oven cleaner or whatnot. So well, what I do is... Wait till this thing gets nice and good and hot, and then I'm going to go ahead and just kind of put a, a light coating of oil in here, not too much. You don't want to use excessive amounts of oil. So just a little bit, and it's hot. So I will go ahead and uh, just kind of coat this whole pan with it real well. I'm gonna make sure it's not excessive. You can see it's already starting to smoke, which is good. And I'm going to kind of let all that oil just, just smoke off of it. Make sure there's no blobs of it anywhere. And you're going to get this uh, brown kind of tint inside the pan. And, okay. So, after after that, that happens, you just want to take, uh, after the oil starts smoking, you want to take the pan off and let it cool down and wipe all the oil out of the inside of it just to make sure it's not uh, godly messy. You can see that this is what we're going to have right now. And I'll let this pan cool down and I'll repeat the process again. It cooled down all the way. Now what we're doing is we're reheating the pan up again for the second coat. And you want to cool it down all the way before you do the second coat because the metal is going to expand when it heats up and then it's going to, and it's going to kind of constrict itself again when you uh, let it cool down and so right now I'm just going to make sure I got a lot of oil in there so I got to get all that out because that's when you start getting that gooey mess in there so you just want it to be a nice coating smooth coating inside of it um, everything has to be done uh, slowly in this process or else you're just wasting your time and you're going to have to do it all over again so slow is fast in uh, this scenario so we're going to let that heat up again until everything starts smoking and then we'll turn off the heat again. It's smoking pretty good. And right about. Trouble is we're outside and it's cold so it's a lot of steam. Not real smoke but I'll call that smoke right there. I'm going to wipe out any excess stuff and then I will let it cool down again and uh, we can I'll do this as many as uh, 10 to 12 times and you'll see what it looks like at the end so there's 10 coats I did about 10 coats of this oil 10 times I did that treatment on there and um, it looks pretty good you can see there's a nice reflective shine on there you're gonna get that little burnt brown uh, coloring on there but that's just uh, what it looks like when the oils coated on there um, it's not gooey, it's very smooth. You want a nice smooth consistency. You don't want to see any ripples or lumps in there. And if you touch it, it shouldn't be sticky. It should be a nice smooth bottom surface for it. Um, but let's go ahead and see how, uh, how well this seasoned it. And I'll, I'll do one of the hardest things to do on a, a stainless steel pan, and that's fry an egg. So the pan is nice and hot. We're gonna go ahead and drop our egg in here. Let's see if I can do it without putting the yolk in there. I'm no chef. <clears throat> and we'll let that cook up. Uh, you want to cook this 
usually on a lower temperature and this uh, pocket rocket isn't really known for cooking with a low temperature. These things are ridiculously hot. <clears throat> but I'm sure I can make this work. And I'll be using my uh, trusty little uh, miniature spatula that I carved out of just a stick. I keep this with my uh, bushcraft kit just to stir my pot and uh, uh, use it for like, like a spatula. But, so um, it looks promising on uh, its non-stick capabilities because I can see the ends are folding up a bit. And as you can see, that egg is, uh, is doing just fine. Look at sliding around in the pan. And uh, look at that. You see that seasoning works. Um, <clears throat> when you clean these, you should just use a little, maybe some water and a rag to wipe it out. Uh, probably the same way you'd treat a cast iron. Uh, but this takes a little bit less care than a cast iron would take because uh, it's not going to rust. You, know, you still want to treat this the same. You're not going to have to oil the outside of it like you would a cast iron. But put that over. Uh oh, some of the yolk broke. So we'll see if that sticks at all either. But should be good. Sticking still. Yep, too good. So, everything's sliding around just like it should on a pan. So there you go. That works. Pretty easy way to season your stainless steel cookware that you're going to use out in the out in the woods, out in the out in the bush. So you're not having to uh, really struggle with this uh, cleaning it up afterwards. And it can be a real mess. So real easy way to do it. And uh, I hope you guys give it a try. So, as always, get your families outdoors, and I will catch you next time.